Hey, and in this episode of Coach's Eye, we are looking at how to create power in our surfing with someone who you've coached in the past. It's Geordie Smith. So before we jump into the iPad, I just want to remind you about our online community where you can get access to lots of extra free content if you're enjoying the coach's eyes. This is the, the place where we keep all of our, our information. It's also a place where you can meet up with other surfers that are following the Omni method. You can meet up with those people in your local areas. So head over to the App Store, make sure you download the app, get involved in the community, have a look at the videos that people are posting and the and the really strong community that is being built online through this through this amazing app. So go and check that out. Also, with the YouTube channel, if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do also hit that notification bell. So, Geordie Smith. Yes. Tell us a bit of a story, because you've, you've coached Geordie Smith in the past. Yeah, when he was coming up through the junior ranks, I coached him and travelled overseas with him, I think, three times to the World Junior um, titles. Uh, we did France, Brazil, and... The States at Huntington Beach. Oh wow! Yeah. So, 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 what sort of age group was he then? Um, I think I was 16, 17, 18. Oh wow! Mm. Wow! You could travel around. Yeah, yeah. So it was fun. Excellent. So we're going to. So we, we've got a video here now. One thing that Jordy Smith is really good at is creating power. And yeah. so we found this video on YouTube, and it starts off with him playing golf. A really bad round of golf. I don't think he's fantastic at it. However, we can learn something from the way that he plays golf and then apply it to surfing. So let's bring the iPad up and I'm going to hand over to Clay to run you through what so we can learn. The whole thing about the coach's eye is trying to I always say copy and paste. Mm. So we want to see what is Geordie's good habit and paste his good habit on top of your bad habit. Yes. Okay, so... Let's just have a look at, he's renowned for his power. So when he does the swing, which he looks really powerful, but don't look at the ball. The ball just goes like, ka-dunk, ka-dunk, ka-dunk. So let's look at power. Mm -hmm. um, one thing, watch what his arms do. His hands swing low and finish high. So the arms go low and finish high. See that? Yeah. Okay, so what that yeah. does, if you think about driving a car, if you turn to the left or turn to the right, your hands change direction. Yep. Okay, so I'll tie this back into surfing okay. later. The other thing is that the power comes from turning the hips. So watch the hips and his belly button faces forward. So from being side on, he ends up front on. Mm -hmm. That's where the power comes. Right. Now the other thing is that his knees point in the direction that he wants to direct the force. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's three things. The body swings high to low, the hips twist front on, and the knees point where he wants to go. Yep. Okay, so we've got three little takeaways there. Yeah. And let's then take that into surfing. Okay, cool. So if we scroll it through, I think you can, uh, you can all sit there and watch the... Oh, just uh, I've just managed to flick to the app. That's the app. If you haven't downloaded it, make sure you head over and download the app. Let me go back to the coach's eye. And we'll scroll through. Okay. So yeah, this is it. The first two waves you did. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. Okay. Okay. So when we jump into the surfing of Geordie, look at his potential over there. It is like absolutely amazing. He's compressed, he looks like he's just about to pounce on something. Okay, which he rightfully does. Now, this is what I'm interested. See the front hand, it's low. Okay, so this arm here is low. Okay. Okay, but this arm here is high. So if, if he were an aeroplane banking, can you see the angle of his wings? Yeah. Or if he was riding a bicycle, can you see how he's leant over? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he does the turn and he holds it. Now he levels out, which means the board then flattens out. So... At this point, he's twisting, 
And can you see the knees starting to point forward? Like okay. The, like the golf swing? Like this, okay. Yep. Yep. All right. And then he gets his hip forward over there. Okay, so okay. There were the three things. There was the opening of the hip. Yep. There was the moving of the arm and the pointing of the knees. Yep. So his knees are pointing, the hip's opening up, and he's moving his arm. Okay, so so what I, I think the so the, the reason why I'm struggling to see the the golf bit in this because obviously on the golf he's just stood in one spot and then he's twisting. Yeah. And on this he's on a surfboard. The surfboard's moving. So can you, as you go through, just keep on explaining it again because I just want to make sure well, I get this really clear in my head. Okay, so when you do a golf swing, you follow through. Yep. The problem with most surfers is they look at one spot and they stop swinging on that spot and the hands oh, stop. Okay. There's no follow through. Okay, so Jordy looks to where he wants to go. So there he's looking. Yeah. Right. This arm here, the back arm, is following through on the turn. Got it. Okay, now watch the front hand lift up there. Can you see it's above his head? Yeah. Okay. So what that does is it gets him from a heel edge back onto the toe edge. Mm-hmm. Okay. So at that point there, look at the wings change. So he started in that direction. So if I go back, look at the wings oh, yeah. there. That was, that was almost like you had a photographic memory and you put the line in exactly the right place. Then the board transitions flat um, over there. And then he switches up the arms over there at the yeah. end. Now, have a look at the knee positioning. Knees pointing, nose pointing where he needs to go. Okay. So why this is key and why, why I'm bringing it up is because if you were in a squat position. Okay, let me go, let me go full screen here in a minute because I just want to make sure that we get this dead clear. So squat position, are you, are you meaning... Yep. That kind of thing. So a lot of people want to squat to do a turn. Geordie's doing a lunge. So if you do a squat for me, now try and look at the red board behind you. So turn to your left. To my left. Yeah. Uh, you see uh, hang on right? a minute. I, I, I think I might have looked a bit like an old man then. <laughs> hang on. Okay. No, you're not even squatting. That knee wants to come around. Yeah, it does. I can feel it wanting to pull around. Okay, so how about first we, we point that knee, use your hip, so push that hip around. Right now it's pretty easy to see that board, correct? Yeah, very okay. easy. So come back. Now that we know that it's easy to open up the hip, we can see better, start to get your arms in. So turn, so drive a car, turn to the left. So, look, okay, so bring the knee hold in. Hold the turn, hold the turn, and turn to the right. There's your recovery. Oh, I can straight away feel that. I, so I was, I was like this. Heel edge. I don't know, you probably can't see it. Yeah. You know, let me get back just a little bit. So when I did that, I can feel that I'm on my heels. Look, look at your big toe lift off. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. His toe is lifting off the ground. That's heel oh, edge. Yep, yep, you can see it. So hang on. Right, so I go back. I'm steering the car. And then I turn back forwards. And toe edge. And the heel lifts off. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, <laughs> that was good. So okay, so I now so I now get it with, with the golf. So I, I think I was looking at it quite literally in terms of the actual technique. It's not. It's more about the holding, looking, and the pointing of the knees is what we're interested in. Okay, so if you've ever thrown a punch before, it's not the arm. I don't fight. <laughs> but it's the twisting of the hips. Like, like the power comes from the hip. Yeah. So Geordie's twisting the hip through moving the knees. And the, the arms is almost like, how do I go from heel to toe? Like, how long do I hold the turn for? When do I snap it back? Mm. So the arms are just the fine tuning. Yeah. And this now actually makes me think about one of the things that, that you've had me doing on the ramp when we're doing the, the surf skate training, we come back up full screen, is I've been going up and then as I'm turning and you, you're like, and as I come back down, you're going, okay, and now lift this hand back up again to come the other way as we do the figure of eights Correct. on the ramp. So now, I suppose so that's all tying it together now. Now, you'll notice that he didn't have lazy arms. In other words, he doesn't drop them. A lot of people go for a turn, drop the hands, and they almost just stop or catch rail or sink. Every time you drop your hands, it has a tendency to make you want to bend from the hip and bend your back and you lose your balance. Mm. But Jordy went, turn, level, change. So he went, turn, balance, turn. Why, why do you think that is with intermediate surfers 
the because I know what you mean. I know that it's something which I've done a lot. How well, when you do a turn, it's it's almost like you go, okay, and now I'm done, and then everything just kind of so, drops. And if we go back to the full screen here, okay, Geordie has opened up and he's got, he wants to. Sorry, let me just get that right. He wants to open up on this turn. Yeah. Okay. Intermediates look there. Look at where Geordie's looking. So he's looking at the wave face going, how long do I need to hold that turn for? Yeah. Like how much space? Where do I throw the tail? So basically he's drawing the turn out because he's got all this information. But you'll find that people that are uncomfortable in the moment try to rush the turn. Yeah. Or if they haven't looked, there's missing information and therefore they rush the turn because that it's an abs it's an assumption of what they should have done rather than how to look at the section and create more time and space to do the turn. Yeah. So that is the big defining difference between say an intermediate surfer who's in flight mode and an advanced surfer who's looking relaxed through the turns. Okay. Let's hit play on it a little bit more and just see if we see anything else that we can Oh, oh. that was sick. <laughs> look at the watch the twist on this. Look at the aeroplane wings. Well, he's, his hands are vertical. Where's he looking? Look at the corner of his eyes. What do you think is eyeballing? His boy, he's looking back, back towards the phone. So now he's thinking, okay, how much space do I have? Whoa, look at the hand up, change direction. That was insane. And there's a little third one in the pipeline. Whoa, there's a twist and a kick. On a tiny wee little thing that, that I know that if I was surfing that way, I probably would have wasted that little end section and he managed to do something impressive on it. So look at the, look at the back arm. See the, see the angle of this hand? It's almost simulating the angle of the foot. Yeah, so it's, it's very much, it's, it's almost like he's trying to high five out towards the rest of the world, yeah. rather than having flat. It is absolutely incredible. And you can see the powers from the twist. Look at the, the knees lunge, the same as the golfing. Yeah. Now, the problem there is a lot of people, when they just want to back foot it, if they're in a squat position and back foot, the nose will lift up and the board will stall. Mm -hmm. Geordie's going rail, point the knees and twist, then he back foots at the end. So he only throws his back foot kind of right at the end to slide the tail a little bit. So it's some absolutely incredible surfing from Geordie when you understand the dynamics of that. Oh. Look at so, the looking. So, uh, uh, okay, so, oh. so something I'm really interested in here is so he's, he's almost extending his neck as well in that. That's what it looks like to me. It's like he's going to, to, to look around. Okay, so no, what you're missing, he's straightening his back to get more twist on his golf swing. A lot of people make the, make the issue of closing the gap between the shoulders and the legs, which limits your ability to twist. Are you, are you, so let me just go full screen again. So, so, so okay, when you so say that. stand over there. Are you, t are you, are you talking? Yeah, now try twist. Can't it do hard, it. yeah. Straighten up, look at the board, easy twist. Yeah, hang on a minute, I want to try, because he had his neck. Oh, oh wow, there? I could see the plug there <laughs> behind me. There we go. Okay, it's opened me up even more. All right, so if I were to say, where does power come from in a golf swing? It's about opening up your twist. Mm. Now, most people clamp down on a twist because of anxiety and all that kind of stuff. So, um, Geordie's power comes from the twist. Yeah. So, okay. if there's one thing you want to steal, copy yep. and paste, or take Geordie's good habit and make it on top of your bad habit, it's the looking and the twisting. Looking and the twisting. There we have it. So, remember, head over to the App Store, download the app, come and join us in the Ombi community. There is so much more content there there's there's some free programs for you to get involved in uh, also if you're interested in, in enrolling into any of our paid programs or even into our, our monthly subscription where we have a monthly challenge every single month then uh, head over to the app store download the app and we'll see you inside there and we'll also see you in the next coach's eye